Resumes are a powerful thing, whether you've already learned that or not. If you haven't been informed about their importance, my team and I are here to tell you what they are and how to build and use them. So, first things first, what is a resume? A resume is a one-page document that has all of your most recent accomplishments, achievements, and experiences. The most common uses for a resume are to give yours to an employer, a college or university you are applying to, or even attaching it to a scholarship application. The information on your resume is something you want to be proud to show potential employers. Your resume changes just as much as your life does. As you get experience, accomplish new things, or begin new work, you can add this information to your resume so it is current and relevant. When I was in high school, I was introduced to Education Quest. This site offers many resources for high school students who are beginning to plan their future. Education Quest made me feel like I wasn't alone in the process and that I had a trusted source to begin my resume. They have a page where you can track your extracurricular activities, honors, and awards throughout high school while easily creating and customizing your resume. It offers five different resume templates to choose from. I am going to go ahead and screen share and show you guys what it looks like. Okay. So the website is educationquest.org. You can see up here it has students, professionals, resources, and so on. Down here it kind of shows the grades. And then over here on the right, it says resources. And the top one is the activities resume, which is what I was talking about. Um, and it just shows you how to create, customize, um, all that. So super helpful information. I do recommend using it because it helped me a ton. So when is the right time to start building your resume and why? High school is a great time for this. Your resume from high school will most likely not look anything like yours that you will have created by the end of college. High school students typically use a resume to apply to colleges, scholarships, or prepare for a job right outside of high school. Building one in high school can help you better prepare for the one you will create in college. You are also able to understand the purpose of a resume, so when you start in colleges, you do not feel unprepared. You may be wondering, how are you supposed to fit all this information on one page? You want to have the most current information on your resume, so if you are feeling that you are running out of room and still have sections you want to add, go through and see what parts you could take out that wouldn't take away from your experiences and achievements. Websites like Education Quest and other resources are helpful for when you want to look at some examples of the formats for resumes. Danielle is going to be discussing how to get started on a resume and what all needs to be on the important one page document. Starting a resume may seem like a lot of work when starting one from scratch. Starting a resume from scratch is the best way to make one because you don't have to pay anyone, but you can also find free resume templates. When starting, gather information about yourself pick fonts and word sizes, and find a format that you like. And I'm going to share my screen. So the ones on the left side, those will not be acceptable for a resume because they'll probably get like hard to read um, depending on the font size. And then the ones on the right, these are the best ones, especially for bold um, and Times New Roman. You want your font sizes to be at least like 11 or 12 going to stop sharing. And you want to find keywords and consistency throughout your resume. This should be organized and distinguishable from each section. You want your resume to include enough white space. Too much white space will indicate that you have a lack of qualifications, but then on the flip side, too much information that is jammed onto a page does not make you look qualified. It will just be difficult to read. So what's on the resume? The best things you should highlight are your education, honors, awards, skills, and experience. These, highly, these highlight you as a person and help you stand out. In each section, you will want to briefly explain how you excel. You want to customize your resume in chronological order or functional, which is skills-based. And with a generic resume, you want to include your contact information, your name, address, phone number, and email address. Developing experience for a resume is really easy. One of the easiest ways to gain experience is in a variety of fields would be an internship. As a college student, these opportunities will help build experience, your experience portion on your resume. And now I'm going to share my screen again. 
I'm going to show you an example resume. So you can see that this person has their name, their address, the phone number, and all their contact information. They have the work experience in this section. Sometimes the education one is first, and then you want to highlight your skills and then your education. And now Zhao Ying is going to give you more information on how to make a good resume. Well, how to make a good resume. A good resume with a clean and clear format, rich personal information, and work history for high school students can make their job search full of opportunities. If they can grasp what the university reviewer is interested in, they will have won half of the interview, provided that they have done their best to consider it for the interviewer. A resume with a wealth of personal sophistication can let the university interviewer know more about you and approach you and can give the interviewer a feeling of kindness and getting along well with you. If you do this, that's great. Such a resume can widen the gap between your interviewer and others, which work experience can show your work abilities and skills, which can also make university scholarship interviewers believe that you can complete work tasks well and be innovative in the future. On the contrary, if your resume has little work experience, your resume will appear ordinary and the interviewer may design your study or work ability and the personal value. Thinking and reflection are part of good resume for high school students. A better resume can give you a more comprehensive understanding of, your, of yourself in person. It means having richer thinking and content. In the process of thinking and revising the resume, you will feel the change brought about by the tempering of time, and you will gradually get to know a brand new you. In interviews I have experienced, every interviewer experience will, be, will become more my motivation to revise and improve my resume. Every time I revise my resume, I will think carefully about my outstanding areas and record them in my resume as much as possible. Of course, it is more important to think about your shortcomings. It can not only keep learning and improving your resume, but also bring more stability to your interviewer through your resume. Now, you may have a deeper understanding of how to create a better resume. Next, Silu will bring us a summary. In our speech, we will introduce to you what is a resume and how to start in writing our resume. And then we will tell you which part should be emphasized in the introduction and be combined with your own advantage or experience to supplement this part. Not only that, we also provide some suggestions and tips for those who are just starting to write a resume. And then you will know which part of the resume is really important, so you should more pay attention to. And finally is how to make your resume look richer or better and let the interviewer notice, notice you through the resume. I think you can write an excellent resume through our suggestion and guidance, right? Um, for me, a resume is such a weapon that can prove your strengths and abilities to the employer. At the same time, it can show that you can meet the requirements of the employer. When you are competing with others for interview opportunities, if your um, competitor has same academic qualification and major, a little bit of experience and useful skill related to this job in the resume will make you stand out in the eyes of the interviewer. The experience and skill related to the job can make, make you more comp competent than your competitor to this job. So that is why and the resume is really important and you should create your own unique resume based on your strengths. And we have two open ending questions and activities. The first is what kind of experience and achievement come to 
mind when you think about what you would like to put on your resume. And second is, how will you use your high school resume in the near future? Mm, and then and take time out of your day and look at those different resources that help you start your resume and begin thinking about what you could add to yours. Mm, thank you.